Hello, uh, this video is going to demonstrate how you can use some formulas to help you sort information in a spreadsheet. Uh, so here I have a Google form that has been filled out and once they've clicked submit then the information gets dumped into uh, the corresponding spreadsheet here. Now with the spreadsheet, you know, if I get a lot of responses it's going to turn out to be a lot of, a lot of data. So what I, what I want to be able to do is just pull the data just from a certain student. And so that's what I've done here. We'll go over how to do this. If I click Mason, all of Mason's data, you know, will automatically get pulled. If I click, uh, click a different student, if I click Maddie, then all of Maddie's information automatically gets pulled. How I do that, so I have a sheet. So here's sheet 10. This formula, uh, it, it is a query formula. I'll post this in the description of the YouTube video, you'll want to copy and paste this into you know, whatever, whatever sheet you have, your select a student sheet. Uh, now what this does, it says query form responses one, and that's the title of, of my first page, and that's the default title for a Google spreadsheet when it's come from a form. So that should be fine, you shouldn't have to worry about that. It's searching rows one to a thousand and two, so if your form has more than a thousand responses, you may just need to make the second number larger. And it's saying select uh, column B, and then this is basically, we'll talk about this later, the student name. So in my form responses, the student name is column B. If you have your student name someplace else or whatever it is you're trying to sort, then you would need to change that to be that column. And then uh, these ands and all this basically means this can be dynamic. It's not always looking for the name Mason or the name uh, Miles or Maddie. It's just looking for whatever is inside B1. So what we do, I'm going to copy and paste this formula and I'm going to make a new sheet here to go over how this would be done. So I copy and paste this formula in, I hit return, and it gives me my uh, column headings which are in my form responses and right now this is looking in B1 for a name and whenever that name is there it's going to populate. So here's what I do. I go to data and I go to validation and what I do is I want it to make me a list from a range and the range I want it is my range of names. So I could type in the sheet name here and, and A2 and D5, whatever. I could type in that exact information, but I'm just going to click here and it will just let me pick it. So I click on form responses. I can move that if I need to and I want it to pick column B. So I touch that. I hit OK and then I hit save. So now if I go to my new sheet, now there's a little triangle here and what it's doing is it's searching my form responses for column B and it automatically puts those into a list for me. So now I can click on Mile or Mason, Mason's information pops up. I can click on Miles, Miles' information pops up. Typically what I do is I make this a different color so that way I know that I can, oops I did that wrong, I, uh, I know that I can select it. So I'll make the background of that cell a different color. Uh, and the great thing about this formula is it's always searching column B. So if I go in and add another student halfway through your school year, a different student enters your school, uh, as soon as they enter uh, into the form and there is a response with their name on it, it will automatically pop populate to this list. Uh, so these formulas, I will post them in the uh, description of the video. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Thanks and have a great day.